So, this is kind of an off, off the wall sort of topic here. But I, I did think that a lot of folks out there would find this interesting. So, about two months ago, I, I shared an article on Twitter from, uh, from The Atlantic about the state of youth sports in America. And then last night, uh, as my wife and I were just kind of relaxing and, and catching up and then recovering from all the travel, we turned on the last couple of episodes of HBO Real Sports. And the most recent one is the year in review where they go back and kind of touch on and recap and update all the stories they've done throughout the year. But the one prior to that in the month of November focused on this decline, if you want to call it, in youth sports in America. And, and it's, it was so startling to me. I was talking to Hitman about this before the show today. And I've been talking to a couple of people about it recently. A lot of you out there are dads and moms with kids you know, who are playing baseball and basketball and football and soccer. And a lot of you out there are travel team parents. Your kids play in AAU, you know, travel soccer, whatever it is. And, and I didn't realize just how two-tracked this thing had become. And really, two-tracked is the wrong way to put it. I didn't realize how dire the situation had become. When I grew up, and when a lot of you grew up, it was, what, 20, 30 bucks to play in your local rec league baseball, or your, your rec baseball league, your, your rec football league, Sandlot football, uh, basketball, whatever the case may be. Most of your friends played, your buddies played in the rec leagues. You know, I, I played AAU basketball, but it was almost kind of a supplement, in a way, to all the rec leagues that we played in. And now it's the exact opposite. Now, that's, that's not a shock. I, I knew that the culture of AAU and 7-on-7 seven -seven football and travel baseball and such had grown leaps and bounds. What I didn't realize fully was just how many kids out there are not playing sports anymore as a result of it. And, and this number is striking to me. Just 34% of children from families earning less than $25,000 played a team sport at least one day in 2017 versus 69% from homes earning more than $100,000. So 34% of kids in families earning less than 25 grand a year played a sport, a team sport for at least one day last year. Whereas families and households earning more than 100 grand, 69% of those kids are playing sports. It's a big disparity. And it's done nothing but grow over the past five to 10 years. And I'm watching this piece last night on Real Sports and I thought to myself, okay, that stinks. You know, but, but maybe there's maybe there's more to it. Maybe it's not as, as grim as it sounds. But the more you, you look at it and you realize that it's become the haves and the have-nots in sports, which used to be the great equalizer, you know, where, where all things were equal, no matter what background you came from, no matter what kind of socioeconomic situation, socioeconomic situation you came from. If you were a poor kid, you could step on the field or the court with a rich kid, and that stuff didn't matter. Whereas now it does. And I've had conversations with Damian Lewis about this in the past. You know, Damian is a sports dad who wants to make sure that his kids have all the opportunities in the world. And, you know, he's doing right by his kids. And I love D-Lou. We've had this conversation in the past where it's becoming exclusive. And rec leagues all over the country are dying. And it's actually becoming kind of a public health threat crisis because these kids who can't afford to play sports, travel sports, which have dominated the scene now and again are killing rec leagues, a lot of these kids have nowhere else to turn. There's no no other option. They're going home and playing video games and eating junk food. And it's one of the actual leading causes of, of obesity in the country among young kids now. And it's become a public health crisis. And I did not realize that it had become that bad. And I'm sure there are parents out there maybe kind of nodding their heads saying, yeah, you've been through this. I don't, I don't have kids yet. And, and it, I wasn't aware of just how bad that it had gotten. But if you haven't seen that piece, check it out. And I'll tweet the article out again at Kyle Bailey WFNZ on Twitter if you want to give it a read. It's, it's a fascinating change in the sports culture in America. That's Snap Judgment here on a Friday.